Here's what's making news now around Indiana. Well, most Hoosiers remember Judy O'Bannon as Indiana's first lady, but the impact she's had on the state reaches far beyond just her time in the governor's residence. Around Indiana reporter Mary Rachel Redmond joins us now with part two of her sit down with this Hoosier living legend. Mary Rachel. Thanks, Gary. Well, as I found out, Judy O'Bannon is more than just a living legend. She's an amazing teacher. I thought historic preservation was just simply saving old buildings. But through several of our conversations on the phone and during this interview, she opened my eyes to what historic preservation really means and why it's important, especially in Indiana. I love um, old shoes. Yes. You know, these are from Paris. These are from Nepal. Um, these are from the Goodwill. <laughs> this is Indonesia, uniqueness and character. Two qualities Indiana's former first lady has in spades. Old buildings are like old ladies. You got to do something to hold them up, you know. So the sound For the better cool. part of a half century, Judy O'Bannon has been nothing short of a hero in the fight for historic preservation in Indiana, even if she doesn't want to admit it. I'm not a pioneer in preservation. People were always trying to save what told them the stories of their grandparents and their heritage. People want to have meaning, life to have permanence, and life as we know it and buildings, as we know, don't always have permits. You look at architecture, it's like reading a book. You can read what was important to people, what they didn't care about, what they needed, what they had at hand. So you can understand what's in you. It's, it's in the DNA, but it's in the experiences of those who raised you or are around you. Uh, for instance, if I look at the Athenaeum, I learn a whole lot about my German ancestry. If I look at Indiana Avenue and know about the jazz joints that were there, it tells me a lot about people who immigrated here from the South and joined together with music as their bond. I understand myself and I don't feel threatened by things that are different. While some argue historic preservation is frivolous, Judy argues saving these pieces of the past can define the future of a community and even a generation. To just say price tag is the most important thing is short-sighted. There's a richer fabric in life than just the cost. I think the cost, when you tear it down and just put all new that looks alike, you lose your individuality. You lose that sense of pride. This is my people. This is our town. And you end up with less meaningful life. Uh, that those old buildings really speak to you of the solidness of your community. Now we rewind to 1996. And you might recognize this hat from Frank O'Bannon's run for governor. I met Frank O'Bannon when we were in school and a belief that with hard work we can make Indiana a better place to live. What is your fondest memory living in the governor's mansion? The, the best memories were traveling around the state. The governor's residence was the state's living room. I very much felt that was a way to give people an opportunity to feel, gee, I went there and I had a gift worthy of using it at the governor's residence. Do you think that doesn't affect some little kid who thought they were nothing but a throwaway? I think so, and that's a privilege you get to provide that. What do you hope that, that your lasting legacy, what do you want people oh, to remember? Oh, poof, I don't even think about that. What do you want people to remember you for? Well, I don't want them to think I was a louse. But there's no question this former first lady has a deep love for her fellow Hoosiers and the state of Indiana. The camera. <laughs> that I respected them and appreciated them and uh, wanted to pull them into the game. I was just lucky and had a very lucky ride of a life. Isn't she just great? I mean every word of it when I say it was truly an honor to have the opportunity to spend so much time with one of our state's favorite first ladies. Her wisdom is really something we can all learn from. You'll be able to watch my entire interview with Judy O'Bannon on our website, InsideIndianaBusiness.com. Gary, 